Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, we're going to react to the most disrespectful questions that have been asked to celebrities. Now, I mean, if you're a well-known celebrity, someone like, let's say, let's say Taylor Swift, right? She's not an average celebrity, but let's say you're Taylor Swift. She probably does, what, at least 10 interviews a month, something like that with, you know, uh, magazines, social media, TV, film, all that kind of stuff. So the kind of questions that she must get asked must be quite repetitive. You know, what made you want to get into music, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, when you're asked a disrespectful question, they must be just so shocked because it's like, you know, someone like Taylor Swift doesn't have to give an interview to, you know, some magazine. So why would the interviewer like ask such a ridiculous thing. Are they deliberately trying to piss off the celebrity to maybe get some extra publicity? Are they, do they not like that celebrity or something? So it's gonna be quite interesting to see what kind of questions get asked, you know, and the reactions from the celebrities here. Taylor Swift stares at Nancy though after I just wanted to show the legs, because as I was telling you ahead of time, you're going to walk home with more than maybe just a trophy tonight. I think lots of men. I'm not going to walk home with any men tonight. I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to go hang out with my friends, and then I go home to the cats. No men allowed. Men get me in trouble. Oh my God. Sean <laughs> Mendes, your song Patience is about a hookup with an older woman. What is the oldest lover you have had? Uh, the, uh, 20, 20, 25. Wow, Wait. how old were you at the time? 19. 19. Oh, well, recently. Right. Yeah, Hello. I mean, so far these haven't been too bad. Do not compare Nicki Minaj to Lady Gaga. Does that kind of comparison offend you? Offend me? No. Um, irks me? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what are the similarities? Why don't I turn the cameras around and ask you? Just the wigs and the... Wigs? Every female in this game and Every female in this game wears wigs. The over-the-top costume, you mean? Over-the-top costumes? Eh, try again. To be fair, I can, I don't think that's that bad. Like, Lady Gaga, Nicki Minaj. I mean, they don't make the same music, but they both do wear quite elaborate outfits. If you could use makeup or your phone one last time, which one would you pick? Makeup or your phone? Is this one what you think time? girls have t trouble choosing? <laughs> yeah, I, can you really go anywhere without your cell phone? Yes. How long Ooh. can you go without looking at Twitter? Many hours. 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 Many hours. I don't believe it. Absolutely, yeah. I have to do it. But you know, when I'm at a dinner table, I like to be present and talking. Good oh, like quality. That. Eye contact. Ladies learn. learn. Yeah. Listen yeah. and yeah. learn, yeah. ladies. Boys learn. Oh. Right now, we got our. Have nice you seen one. the new boys and girls? We can all learn. Yes. yes. Oh. oh my god. Who has the biggest dick in the music industry? <laughs> I, I've never seen anybody's penis in the industry, actually. I saw one penis for 10 years, and um, that's all I say about that. We got an email from Kim from Arizona who said, if you were single and Drake was single, would you want to sleep with him? His verse and only makes me think that he would be into it. No. No. You love him in a different way. Yeah. Oh, that was awkward. That was just so awkward. <sighs> Things are clearly going brilliantly in your career. I just wondered if you are as happy in your private life. And will we be seeing a certain Mr. Ashton Kutcher perhaps making a trip over here? Wow, how disappointing was that question? <laughs> Should we move on to another one? <laughs> Absolutely. I think there was a question. We've got to move on. I think I'm happy a question and I'm here. single, if that's what you're really asking. Yikes! Oh my god! <laughs> if you're the, if you're that interviewer, you're just like, oh man, I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have asked that. So is that really coming up like soon or something? It's in a week. Oh shoot! You see, this is how I need to stay on the internet more. <laughs> so you so, I was hoping that we would. See why would you think I'm invited? I don't know. You met him. Okay, you met me. You think you're gonna come into my wedding? <laughs> Am I coming to yours? I mean, you'll get the invite. Oh, girl. Okay, well then may promise. maybe I should feel away. 
It seems like Nicki Minaj and uh, Rihanna aren't very uh, easy to interview. You gotta be quite careful. You play Margot, uh, the star character there. Did you get a chance? Uh, the book is taught, I know, in a lot of high schools and such. Did you get a chance to read it, or do you even have time to sit and read? <laughs> These days you're so busy. Uh, no, I never read the book. All the script, actually, I kind of winged it. Yeah. <laughs> no, of course, I love the book. Nice. <laughs> you know, I'm wondering, looking at, as Marianne was talking about how busy you are, and we're looking at your IMDb and all the projects, it's like you were doing one thing after the next after the next. Do you find that it's easier for you to focus because you're so busy? If you had downtime, maybe it wouldn't be so easy for you? What do you think? No, I don't know where that comes from. No, I think uh, it's not easier to focus. I think, I mean, I love what I do. It's It's... It's not crazy, you know, I, I mean, it's Ugh. it's my passion, all of these things. You know, I've wanted to do this since I was young, so it's not it's not too hard. <laughs> not too hard? All right. Yeah. Oh, my God. Just uh, awkward. Awkward. Lasted how long? Nine years. 180 episodes. You gave it up, right? I did. Sir. They didn't cancel you. You canceled them. You're not aware of this? No, I'm, I'm asking you. You think I got cancelled? Are you under the impression I, that I, I got cancelled? I hurt you, Jerry. <gasps> he, his ego took a hit there. Like, how dare you insinuate that I was cancelled? I, Jerry Seinfeld, can never be cancelled. But given interviews you've done in the past, um, your own sexuality seems a bit more ambiguous. Do you find it hard for celebrities to talk to their sex to talk to media about their sexuality? What on earth are you on about? <laughs> but what is your question? I was wondering if you find it difficult for celebrities to talk about their sexuality. I don't find it difficult for celebrities to talk about their sexuality. Um, are you asking me about my sexuality? Sure. <laughs> Why? Why? Um, Thank you. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Why did he ask him about that? Just ask him about the movie. Like, what are you doing, man? Oh, man. I have heard Tom Hardy is very, very difficult to interview, though, to be fair. So the guy could have probably asked him what your favorite color is, and he probably would have got a similar answer. Are you able to wear undergarments if you're you the, like the fifth person that's asking well, no, because it... what is going on <laughs> what since when did people start asking each other about in interviews no, about their underwear no, this is not a, is what I... it, 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 well is, well is it inappropriate to ask somebody what kind of underpants they wear i didn't ask you what kind you just asked me if i was wearing any what was he thinking oh you look amazing hello wow hello. Thank you so much. You look like you've just come off like an island or something. You're very tan, very tropical. I mean, you know, I'm ethnic. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. So it's just being ethnic. That's what it is. Um, allowing yourself to just be a woman. It was the whole process painful uh, oh. physically for you to to make this. You know, because there's a lot of surgery involved. A yeah. lot of drugs involved mm. obviously hormones etc yeah w was it um, was it challenging in that way and i've just i guess just i just did my nose i just I got my breast done just little things that i've always wanted to do the medication I mean, you is, still your 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 private parts are different now aren't they whoa whoa what is she talk what what her private parts I don't want to talk about it because it's it's still it's really personal, and um, I don't know. I just think I'd rather talk about my modeling stuff. I'd rather talk about being in W and being you know maybe an Italian Vogue and, and doing fun stuff and and showing people that this host really asked this lady about her private parts. After the transition, there's still life to live. Man, some of those hosts, I just can't believe you know. They ask those questions. Like the last one, you know, in front of an audience, you know, in front of the cameras, you're asking her about her private parts. Your private parts are different. Like, who does that? And the lady looked experienced as well. Like, she's probably got like 10, 20 years in the game. What was she thinking? What was she thinking? Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.